Hello and welcome back to another reaction. In this occasion, Mob Psycho 100 Season 2. Yes, it's been such a long time since I reacted something related to this series. Obviously, the last episode was fantastic, and I mean the last episode of Season 1 was fantastic. And now we are entering into Season 2. So far, this is obviously not the premiere or anything like that, at least not for me. All the episodes are out. I already download all the episodes and I'm ready to watch them. But obviously, I will record myself reacting to them. And I think this is a very different case. Uh, very different case uh, if we compare it with the One Punch Man fiasco. Uh, this has received good reviews. This has received a uh, good praising. Unlike, as I said before, One Punch Man Season 2. And you know how critical I am of, of that season, of that second season of One Punch Man. But yeah, this is, I think, a different case. This is something that has been consistently good from Season 1 and Season 2. So yes, I am genuinely eager to see how this story keeps developing itself. So, yeah, let's just cut all this presentation and watch the first episode of the second season, shall we? Okay, I'm back. I just watched a second time the first episode of the second season of Mob Psycho. And I'm going to say this once and I will try to not to say it again during my uh, commentary of the next episodes. But I am going to compare it to the One Punch Man fiasco. One Punch Man second season, the first episode, you kind of have that feeling that there is something wrong with the animation, there is something wrong with the style. It doesn't feel right. You still don't know what is that. You still don't know why it feels so foreign in comparison to the season one, but you kind of feel it. And the more you advance into the season, the more that feel kind of solidify itself. With this one though, it feels natural. It feels like you just watch the continuation of season one. You, you, it just feels like you're watching something that is made from the same guys, that is uh, kind of in the same style, kind of in the same level of humor. It feels pretty good. It, this episode could genuinely be on season one and it wouldn't feel foreign. It wouldn't feel weird to be watching that on the season uh, one. And that it speaks great about this transition from season 1 to season 2 from Mob Psycho. And this is something that was bugging me from the beginning. I was trying to grasp my reasoning around why it feels so different, why it feels so good to return to Mob Psycho after watching the episode uh, compared it to the uh, first episode of the second season of One Punch Man. And I'm comparing it to this one because both have the same uh, uh, mangaka. The same guy that uh, drew Mob Psycho is the same guy that drew One Punch Man, as you all know. One is the author behind those works. And that's why I'm feeling that this comparison is justified in this case. But anyway, let's talk about now specifically about the episode. It was great. It was a great reintroduction of uh, the series. It has the same humor. It has the same crazy schemes from Raging. It has everything you expect from a Mob Psycho animation. And in this case, I haven't seen the manga. I haven't read it. I'm just purely going by the uh, by the animation so no i don't know anything that is going to happen in the future i really hold back uh, while uh, watching season one i said oh no this really has a possible release a close release so i'm not going to read it until it's over until the show is over so i can compare it later on 
But actually, yes, everything that happens here is completely unknown for me. It's something that I haven't seen. I have no knowledge of what is going to happen after Mob Psycho. And yes, compare it to season one, but in a good way, obviously. Um, it is start very similarly. Uh, we still uh, get raging, being the crazy, the crazy, well, scam artist but actually now he's not so much of a scam artist he can watch the spirits and now he has mob to help him out and yes we saw a little bit of a spectacular fight between this scarecrow monster or, or i don't know what it's called this is spirit that is just possessing the field and is absorbing all the freaking life energy of the vegetables and all of that and he's still with relatively ease and yes we return to the characters that uh, they are reintroduced to the newcomers that yes uh, Regin uh, always look for the money uh, is not powerful psychic because he never did anything to stop the freaking uh, spirit and he just depends on mob for those things if it's something natural he can deal with if it's something that is kind of uh, let's say a problem with the soil in this case that is not enough fertilized or something like that yeah he can help but when it's a spiritual of course we depend on mob and the attitude they have toward each other is pretty well presented in the first scene. Even if those small details uh, are, well, small, those are important because they gave you a lot of information about the characters. They reintroduced the characters for the people who returned to the show and perhaps they forgot something. Which is pretty hard, honestly. After watching the first season, it's pretty hard to forget any of these characters. And to re... to introduce to the newcomers that oh yeah this is the second season i'm going to watch it first and then i'm going to return to the first season something i do not recommend but anyway to each his own uh, and they do a good job portraying them and yes the rest of the episode is kind of calm it's kind of trying to give us something else because yes in the overarching plot there is not much depth within the episode it's just moms get deceived in a certain point uh, after believing he was dating somebody or at least was pretending to date somebody because he didn't have feelings for her uh, he still has feelings for uh, her for his old uh, childhood crush and childhood friend but actually the episodes go deeper than that it shows us how Mob can change, how Mob has changed, that he has grown, that he has, at least he's trying to learn how to embrace his own feelings and not hide in them. In the last few moments of the episode, everything clicked and it was wonderful because Mob is changing minds. Mob is... Uh, making i don't know if we call her friend or acquaintance or is changing somebody else or somebody else attitude by being himself by expressing his emotions by by moving forward himself he's moving forward another person that now she's going to pursue the writing stuff more seriously and she wouldn't care what her friends think and that is admirable how Mob can change without even thinking, without even really trying to, how he can change somebody else, not just himself. And yeah, of course, the episode is full of humor, great humor. <laughs> even the silent moments of the episode when Mob was just literally speechless in that, well, speech for president. But that is just so much fun. Even though you knew that was coming, you find that funny. And that is the type of jokes I love. And of course, the reintroduction of the Body Improvement Club. Yes, those guys are back and are as awesome as always. They are just great characters. And I love how they defy the cliche that since they are... A physical group, they must be jocks, they must be all oh, assholes to everybody else who is not as strong as them. No, they want to improve 
everybody and they want to help you to improve and they don't make fun of you even mob is not physically adept in any degree they still motivate him to keep going because he wants to improve and yes this is not portrayed in this first episode i'm just going by the last season the first season but that is great about the body improvement club those guys are simply amazing and i love every second they are on screen i love them and I love all the little shims that go in the background that how somebody wants to make a more cult leader because yeah, that is what he's supposed to be doing. Sure, whatever, of course. Uh, Mob obviously is not ready for that and I don't think Mob wants to do anything with that sentiment. And I love the little bits of remembrance of especially the crush of Mob. She still remembers him. She hasn't forgot about him. She is not a a bad person. Obviously, she they don't talk it. They don't talk to each other that much. I don't know why. Perhaps they spread out or they separate when they were younger. My guess it has to do with something that she said in the, in her childhood. What we saw in the last series. And yes, it's not something. Oh yeah, she's the bad girl. No, but because something that she said. Because well, she's a kid or she was a kid. Sorry. And she didn't grasp the full consequences of her words. So, yes, it is It is fascinating the little information that goes in the background. It's not always on the, for, on the front ground. It's on the background. And I, again, as I said before, I love the recurring characters from last season. The brother, Dimple, Raging. Uh, I saw in the, in the opening the um, Psychic Club, the... The kids are psychic that were kidnapped in the last few episodes, alongside with the brother of uh, Kagiyama. And the bully, who is no longer a bully, at least I don't think he's a bully. The president that uh, yeah, just gave up, but then he motivated himself to return. Everything, every single character is great so far. And the first episode is a great example of how you do a second season great episode this has been great and yes i'm going to compare it once more hopefully it's going to be the only video i do this uh, with the first episode of one punch man one punch man as i said before it felt weird the first episode of the second season it didn't feel quite right it didn't feel like the hype was real it didn't feel like it was the serving of the hype this one, I didn't have any hype. Perhaps that is the reason I feel better for this one. Uh, but it was great. It was funny. It was in the same feeling that I had with the first season of Mob Psycho. So, yeah, I think it's a much, much better episode of Mob Psycho. A better second season, first episode than One Punch Man. But anyway, if I'm... Let loose here. Oh no, something else. Something I almost forgot. Yeah, see, that's why I tend not to do the recap in these videos. I love, and this is a small detail, it's not important, but I want to speak about this. I love the all the books that we saw in the last few scenes of the episode before of the preview. And I love how every single thing is created just to motivate, uh, to motivate the training for the campaign, for the president election, the, how to properly read uh, social cues, how to uh, properly read novels, how to, uh, oh, no, sorry, uh, improve of your speech, bears. I love the subtitle of that one. Improvement of your speech, uh, waterfall meditation. I don't know what it has to do with anything, but anyway, the Japanese dictionary, obviously, uh, <laughs> what delicious vegetables and uh, progress was well that one is obviously the joke is progress toward a uh, mob's explosion 27% and my favorite one the blue one live waiting live wait is the best answer to everything I love that last title and yes those are small jokes that I just got in my second viewing see that's why I do a second viewing anyway yeah I think I exhausted now really exhausted the topic of this episode I hope you enjoy it and I have nothing else to say but thank you for your attention and see you on the next one bye
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, give it a like, so the algorithm from YouTube will help me out. And check my other videos, share them, and also, why not subscribe to my channel, and join this community. And as always, I want to thank you for your attention, your likes, and even your dislikes, your comments, which is something I always look forward to read, and yeah, once more, thanks, and see you on the next one.